All right, we're back, and we're going to add some synth parts to this. And I want to make sure that you guys are... Um, I want to make sure that you have the BD Live Intro 3 synth session open. And you will have a session that looks like this, hopefully. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk, go to our live devices and we're going to toggle the instruments folder down and we're going to drop out a simpler instrument. We're going to drop it into this empty space here. It's going to make a new MIDI track for us with the simpler instrument. And we are going to then go to our folder where we downloaded our samples. And we're going to drop the ARP Poly Lead C3 into this section here. Now if you play your MIDI keyboard, it should play some notes, just to make sure it's working. Um, or try your computer keyboard, and uh, that should work fine as well. And we're going to enter these not with a MIDI keyboard, we're going to actually enter them with our mouse. So we're going to go ahead and double click on this empty MIDI clip here. It's by default again going to give us just a one bar MIDI clip. I'm going to drag up to make it two bars. And I'm going to start drawing out some notes that I have figured out that will work with this track. One on F3 and G sharp 3. I'm going to drag and select these and drag these out a bit. And I'm going to turn this preview button on. Then if we touch a key, it will actually give us the note. I kind of wish this was on default, but you'll have to turn those on yourself. And I'm just going to select those. I'm going to hold down Option and then drag. And I'm going to drag up to C4 and D sharp 4. And I'm going to turn this off for now. This is maybe why they do it. Turn it off just when I'm dragging things around. And I'm going to drag these over to uh, G3 and A sharp 3. I want these though um, probably around there. And I want to drag these out down to C3. And D sharp 3. Now I want to make sure the overwrite button is off because if I hit play while the overwrite button's on, it'll start recording on this MIDI track. So I don't want that. And I'm going to make sure this is soloed. I'm going to hit play. I'm just going to drag these over a bit. And I'm going to drag this over a bit. All right. Very simple, very static sounding. Let's sound. Let's hear what it sounds like with the drums and one of our bass lines. So that's that sounds fine, but let's make it a little more interesting. And to do that, we're going to use clip envelopes to automate uh, the filter frequency on the simpler instrument. This is probably one of the coolest features about live is the way that you can automate in your clips.